Hello and welcome to a, another video. Today I'm doing my July and August book wrap up combined, seeing as I've been on holiday from the end of July till now. So here we go. In July I started off by finishing Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. Um, this was really good. I enjoyed it. Being on the fourth book of the series, I was a little bit cautious about starting the fifth one because it meant it was the final book, which one was an accomplishment, but two, really scary because I was enjoying these books. So just to take a break uh, from Percy Jackson, I read Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemmerer. Oh my god, this is probably one of my favorite reads this year even. Um, crazy book, crazy characters, crazy story just so good I have a video review of this I have a written review of this this was absolutely mental so then after reading that I was like I don't want to go back to Percy Jackson I want to read more young adult contemporaries or whatever but I was like no you started this series you gotta finish it so obviously then I read Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan and it was such a good finale I really enjoyed uh, this last book um, not as much as I enjoyed the others, and it was not necessarily how I thought it was going to go down, the fight and everything, but, um, I had a good time reading this book and this whole series even. After this, I read a book which I didn't like very much at all, um, and that's Ink by Alice Broadway. This just didn't work with me. Um, the last half of the book was okay, I enjoyed it, but it freaked me out a little bit, and... It just, I, I don't know, it didn't work with me, it really didn't. Um, there is a written review on this as well, if you want to check that out, where I explain it more thoroughly. But, um, yeah, it was not my best read this year. After this, I read an insane book, which came out in January, and I don't understand why I hadn't read it until now. Maybe because I knew it was going to be so amazing, but I just felt like it was daunting to get myself into that. Um, anyways, it's Car the Mark by Veronica Roth. Oh my god. Um, this was so, so amazing. I can't wait for the next book to come out. Um, I can't wait to see what happens. It was really like, I really liked the whole spaceship, space planet, everything in it. And I want to read more books like this. I want to read more books within this genre. I feel like I'm really lacking in that at the moment. I thought Divergent was insane when it came out. I just read them all in one go. Um, but this, oh, she's top that. She, oh, I want to see this on the big screen so badly, so badly. Then I read a book which, um, it's a, it's a children's book, um, middle grade, if you wish. Uh, I bought this book when um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child came out um, at Foils at Charing Cross because it was everywhere and they were like, if you liked Harry Potter you will like this. So I thought, okay, I was there with my friend and we were like, okay, let's both buy this book and maybe our younger sisters will enjoy it too. And then she texted me this summer and she was like, when you come visit me in Sweden, do you mind bringing the second book as well? And I was like, oh my god, there's a second book already? Obviously, because it's been a year, but I wasn't thinking. Um, and she was like, yeah, yeah, the first, the first, the first book was good. Um, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll buy you the second one. Um, and I was like, oh, well, in that case, I just gotta read the first one now, just to see what, you know, she obviously wants to read the second one, so. And that book is called The Crooked Sixpence in the series The Uncommoners by Jennifer Bell. This was like, it was strange reading children's books again. Um, this is not like Harry Potter, yes. It's got elements of it, um, crazy similar elements, and you'd be like, oh yeah, I'd say that. Um, but it's not like Harry Potter. <laughs> um, it is within the same genre, absolutely, the same age, but if you think you're gonna get something that um, is up there with Harry Potter, it's not like that. However, it's a very chill, very easily read book. It's amusing, it's good, I like this. It was cute. So then, Finally, um, I bought this in May and I still haven't read it because I'm just scared um, that I then have to wait for another year for the final installment to come out um, and I don't want it to be over yet and reading the second book kind of meant that, well now you gotta wait a year and then the third one is gonna come out and then it's gone, finished. 
Also, I was like, do I even remember what happened in the first book? But um, Lord of the Shadows by Cassandra Clare was epic. It was so, so good. Um, I didn't have to reread Lady Midnight to remember everything. I just came back to me all at once. <sighs> so many good scenes and here's so many ships. Also, Kit and Ty, can we just... Uh, my heart breaks for them. I love them and I want to see more of them. I have a feeling that there's going to be a trilogy about them. Have I read that somewhere or heard that somewhere? Because I know the last hours that trilogy is coming out, which is linked to, um, well they're all linked, but it's more linked to um, the Infernal Devices trilogy. And I feel like the next trilogy after that has got Kit and Ty in it. I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyways, I love them more than anything else at the moment. Very, very good. Very good. Then I read a book which, mm, I've got so many thoughts about this. I need to read, I need to write a review about this. Um, this book was given to me for my birthday. Uh, it was a book I've heard about. Very pretty cover. Uh, but nothing I wanted to pick up because it's not within this genre. It's a historical, um, book or historical fiction. And I do read that, but I tend to keep to Philippa Gregory and sort of English royalties and this book was not that. Um, anyways, the book is The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry. It took me two weeks to get through. It's very um, intellectual, um, a little bit old-fashioned in the way that it's written. Um, I felt like I felt like I was reading Jane Austen, which was bugging me a little bit. Um, it was a good read. It got interesting. It got better. Um, yeah, I've got thoughts about this and I really need to write that down in a blog post, in a review, uh, where I can really express myself about this book. I am happy I read it. It was a good experience to read it and try something new. Um, and I would recommend it to certain people that I know will enjoy it, if that makes sense. After that, I read the book that came in the fairy loot box for July, and that is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. This was good, um, it was interesting. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble to just picture someone without eyes, and I had to remind myself that she didn't have eyes. But it was, um, it was an entertaining read. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. So, um, by now, in my whole holiday, um, I'm in Sweden, and I brought like 10 books to Sweden to read in three weeks. That did not happen at all. <laughs> um, I read Daughter of the Burning City, and then I bought this other book in the bookshop um, in exchange for um, making my mom company at Ikea. Um, I've, I heard about this book um, during Christmas when I was in Sweden, but by then it was like the third book had come out and they were all in different formats. Um, like they were hardcover and then there were big um, paperbacks of them and then there were like the smaller traditional paperbacks of them. But then when I actually wanted to buy it, they didn't even have the first book in the store because it was like sold out. I think a lot of people bought the first book um, for like Christmas. Um, sort of thing. It's a Norwegian book. It's written in Norwegian. Um, I read the translated Swedish version, uh, but the book I read um, was Odin Spawn by Siri Patashen. Um, this translates to um, Odin's Child or Child of Odin. It does not have anything to do with Vikings. I thought so. Um, I thought because Odin is mentioned in the title, um, you know, it's gonna have like connections to Norse mythology and gods and Vikings. It doesn't, uh, except for this one word, this one piece of vocabulary. Um, but it was not disappointing at all. This book was sick. Oh, it was so good. It's a bit chunky. It's about 600 and something pages long, I think. Yeah, it's a good 600 pages long. Um, this is an amazing fantasy world. I just need, I need to do a separate video of this. This was so sick. I know some people, I read this everywhere. I brought it with me everywhere. And everyone was like, that's a gross um, cover. Like, what is that even about? And I'm like, this is, it's a tale. Yes, if you look, it's a tale. Um, it's pretty gross. Um, 
but it was sick. It was just so good. We're in the middle of like August now, not even that, towards the end of August. And I finally, finally, finally read Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. <sighs> I'm in my way through this. Oh, you can see how like, it's just so, it's so, I brought it everywhere. Oh, so good. I've seen the TV series. I've seen the two first seasons. Um, I've got the first four books. And uh, yes, it took time. It took time to read this. Um, I don't know why we this was not only eight over 800 pages long um it's just so much going in like you really need to concentrate to appreciate it and i feel like i need to take my time and just sit down for a good few hours and just get merged in this world and i didn't really get the time to just sit and read like i got interrupted a lot um so i feel like that's part of it but also it's, it's a long book it's a long book it takes time to read um but it was so, so good, so good. So all in all, I read seven and a half books in July. I read two, I read three and a half books in August. That's one big pile. Uh, but anyways, uh, a good collection of books, a variety of books. I'm very proud of myself for like trying different genres, like with the Essex Serpent. I was hard. Finally also finished the Percy Jackson series, which I am really happy about. Um, I finally sat down and read Card the Mark and Lady Midnight um, and Outlander, which I've wanted to for a year. I feel like I need a bit of a break from like heavy books. I kind of just want some light reads for a moment now. Thank you for watching. What books did you read this summer? I'll be back with a new video soon. There'll be some book reviews of course for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe below um, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and you'll hear from me soon. Bye!